Natural Ways Recovery Park, a scientific innovation center installed with customized and effective technology to handle Ghana's municipal solid waste which are messed up in nature. Located in the heart of the city of Accra, the park aims at receiving municipal solid waste and recycling them into useful end products. This park is made up of several waste treatment facilities to handle solid waste, one of which is an integrated recycling and compost plant, IRICUP. IRICUP, established in 2009 as a member of the Jospon Group of Companies and a private sector-led initiative targeted at complementing government in solving environmental and sanitation challenges. Globally, about 2.1 billion tons of waste is generated annually. And this alarming statistics is what informed constant, vigorous research into what to do in our part of the world to complement government's efforts of solving sanitation issues in Ghana. ARICOP has the vision of becoming the leading waste uh, processing and recycling plant in Africa. To achieve this vision, the park houses the most green and ultra-modern technology which is the first of its kind in the country to turn trash into treasure. Out of the estimated 5 million tons of waste generated in Ghana annually, about 80% of them can be recovered and recycled. And this should be comforting news for the people in the municipality as Arikop is just ready to do that bit of the statistics I just mentioned. The integrated recycling and compost plant, IRICUP, has two stages, the sorting phase and the composting phase. The sorting phase begins at the weighing bridge. Every vehicle entering the facility goes through the weighing bridge to inform the plant of the volume of waste received and then continues to the receiving bay. Waste entering the park is stepped on the floor at the receiving bay. From here, payloaders scoop the waste and load them into various receiving hoppers for the process to continue. The loaded waste then moves through a conveyor into a primary sorting cabin where the cardboard, paper and refuse derived fuel are separated and recovered. We have people there who are able to take out all the cardboard, the paper, and the refuse derived fuel, the RPM, which are useful for our economy and the raw materials for our other industries. So we will cover all those materials at this point. The unrecovered materials from the primary sorting cabin then continue to the shredder. The shredder has three main functions. The very first one is to open anything that is found to be in an enclosure, either in a polythene bag or in a cardboard. So it does open everything up. Then the second thing is that it does do a reducing into various shapes that is permitted to go into the other process. Then the last purpose is that it does a uniform distribution to ensure that they are fed into the next process uniformly. The recovered materials continue through a conveyor into the rotary screening machine which selects organics into a container to be transported to the compost floor. The inorganic materials are transported to the secondary sorting cabin which ends the sorting phase. the BPs and then the BE and then from there we move on to the last stage whereby we have the magnetic drop up there to drop out every metallic material and then allow the residual to drop into the residual tank. At the compost phase, all the organic materials recovered are piled up and left to self-decompose. The finest compost are removed and bagged as fertilizers for farming. The residuals are also retrieved and treated into combustible refuse derived fuel, 
which is used to power industrial equipment. Other end products from the recycling process are the pet bottles, which are nicely wrapped and exported to other countries. Due to the scientific nature of the plant, the park houses a highly equipped laboratory that embraces the scientific community to test recycled materials and their usefulness. And the essence of this laboratory is to allow students to come with their materials to do the testing and even test our components and be able to give us the outcome. The lab is highly equipped. We have the general lab that tests almost all the material that relates with the waste that we handle here. And then we also have the specialized lab, that the biochemist lab, whereby detailed findings are done on the various material that we bring. It is the aim of Aricup to declare every waste useful. At Aricup, no waste is waste. By our research, we are able to build up the soil structure and then the fertility of the material that leaves our premises, that are sent into our farmers. And so these farmers receive them, apply them on their soil to build up the same soil, their structures and the fertility. Out of that, we are able to get organic products that are then being sold at the market for everyone to go and buy and eat. With the cardboard and then the papers, we are able to retrieve them out of the waste and then send them to our paper processing factories. They are also able to process it and then ends up becoming a toilet roll, producing newspapers that we have at our newsstands. The plastics that are of the thermoplastic family, we are able to crush them, then pelletize them and get the pellets out of it. And so these pellets are then sold back to the industry. The chairs that we sit on, the plates that we eat in, we are able to get the trails and so many other household products out of the plastics that we are able to recover here. Then the thermosets, which is also another family of the plastic, we shred them nicely and then wrap them nicely for export, convert those materials into trade and then thereafter weave them so that they can use them in producing sportswear for our use locally. If you critically analyze our activity, you realize that there is nothing that goes to waste in this particular facility and therefore here is zero waste treatment facility. To complement the president's vision of making Accra the cleanest city in Africa, the recovery park hopes to receive a considerable volume of waste within the municipality. Jurisdiction is not restricted for now, but per our operational policies, we are supposed to deal with certain core areas. We serve the people of Jamestown, Asherford, Kolegono, Old Fadama, Agbobloshi, Kantamanto, Graphic Road, Makola, as well as Mamprobi. This project is in line with government's industrialization agenda of setting up factories in every district. ARICOP is collaborating very effectively with the mayor of Accra as well as the political community to clear the field of the CBDs, that's the Central Business District, in complementing the president's effort of making Accra the cleanest city in Africa. The project has and continues to provide jobs for the theming unemployed youth in the various communities in and around Kole where the plant is established, which means increased tax revenue for government and ultimately a robust and prosperous economy. The Jospon group of companies which operates on the working philosophy that waste management is more than refuse collection and disposal plans to replicate this plant in all 16 regions of Ghana. I envisage Arika will become the biggest recycling plant in Africa, charting the path for an African crusade on waste management using integrated approaches to waste management. Arika, supporting a green economy. Powered by Platinum Live Multimedia. Platinum Live, adding style to quality.